This is Fantasy Town Regional Manager. I know most regional managers have to deal more with snide emails from Karen in HR, but here you're more concerned with trolls burning down your town. Let's take a look. So if you're expecting a pure city builder, this actually has a lot more in common with Reigns, where you play cards to carefully manage a few key stats. Here, you have to attract as many adventurers as you can to defend your town, to keep ahead of the threat level in the top left. Adventurers come in five types, shown here, and you have to keep them all happy by playing different cards at the bottom to build the kind of buildings they like. The threat level rises via random daily events, and that's the red line, and the blue line is how many adventurers we've got and how many defensive buildings we've got and all. So we also have to worry about cash, 100 quid we've got, and food as well. Um, so that's that. And let's, I don't, I don't actually really, I'm, I've not had, had much luck with this game so far. It's, it's quite tricky, but um, let's see. On this turn, we shall, well, if we play the library, we um, increase the, the purple and the yellow and decrease the red. Uh, the red being the brawlers, the purple being the, um, <laughs> the anarchists, the arcanists, and the orange being the diviners. That costs 50 quid. Uh, the tavern has different stats. The shrine is, is positive, but it's only for one person. Let's go immediately with the library. The brawlers may not be happy, but never mind. Uh, we can only place in a clear area. We can spend money to clear trees. So it's a bit of a jigsaw in many ways. Right, so um, we've actually got um, some quests in the bottom right. That's, that's cumulative across different runs. So that's the third library um, I've built um, in, in my games. And the fourth one will probably bring stuff. And you can unlock cards over the course of runs as well. I've only unlocked these ones, which are pretty much the starter ones, plus the armoury. But if you complete various things, you will get unlocks for other things and all, and therefore future runs should hopefully be easier. So this is a turn-based thing, so we don't need to like rush or anything, but we've still got 50 quid, so we can probably make some cash, because at the moment we're only making 10 quid a turn. So let's do, let's place it right there. Let's see, let's try to make be as efficient as possible. And we've got enough money for, well, a tavern? Okay, let's, let's build a little taverny poos so they can go for a booze. And then we've got no money, so end turn. Right. So the news every day, random events and stuff like that. Uh, by the looks of it, we don't have anything particularly bad. The threat level isn't increasing, but we do have one adventurer moving into, presumably, a house. Good. Um, you, you get random chances of that happening, but the more houses you get, the better things are. So my current level, my defence level is four, my threat level is zero. And so long as we our, our blue number is bigger than our red number, the bar will go to the right. If the, other, if the bad thing happens and we get uh, more threat than defence, um, the bar will start going to the left. And if it hits the, the, the full left-hand side and the red bar fills up completely, you've lost the game, you terrible prick. Right, anyway... So we've got a defence card, actually. 50 quid. We can't afford it, alas. But that would give us um, bonus defence, as well as our uh, arcanists will be happy. Um, we can't really do much at all this turn, because we've got so little cash. But we are making 40 quid a turn, so let's move on. I think the tavern gives us cash. Now we're up to 60 quid. Oh, we've got a random event. These rats are revolting! Up from the Undercity, the rats have risen up, and with them a deadly disease. Uh, they may infect the whole town if we're not careful. We need to, need to lock down right away. Ooh, let's enforce a lockdown. That's not good. Housing has decreased by 15 for four turns. Ooh, nasty. But we have a quest. Organise a coup, bring peace and order to these dangerous dryads. That costs 40 quid and takes five turns. Reward, all space cleared. Um, we haven't really got much money. Oh, we've got to accept it. <laughs> I, was say we, I think I might be able to n not do that, but I've accepted it anyway, which means we still haven't got enough cash. But we've got housing, so let's place that there. Our housing has currently got a red circle around it, which is bad. So we're not going to get much th um, goodness out of those. And the Arcanists are quite happy, though, because they've got good buildings. So they've got a green ring around their thing. And otherwise, we've got 11010 zero, zero for how many of each we've got. Um, so that's three people in total, which means we've got three defence up here. Threat level's increasing, though. Next turn. We're not making much money. A tourist death trap. A flock of sirens has moved into a nearby cove. Their alluring song brings an unaware tourist to their nest to be consumed. Introduce a busking tax. Put a stop to them. Okay, let's get some cash out of these sirens. Plus four threat, but we get more cash. Okay, I'll take that. There was also something about gargoyles, which I completely missed. So I think that was increased the threat level. Uh, which means that the threat level is actually above our defence. So we do actually need some lads as soon as possible. Now, we've already built a library, so the next library is really expensive. We can afford a herbalist, though, which will hopefully attract green and blue. Let's do that there. 
the green are the Outriders, and the performers are blue, and we've given them green circles. So with any luck, we should get some more people in the next turn. Let's do that. Rat shortage. <laughs> Hang on, we had too many rats the other day. Now we, now we haven't got enough. Tra train up mice to be strong like rats. Otherwise, um, new quest added near your town. Defeat the escaped princess. All right. Two, plus two threat. Oh, bloody hell. Ugh. So let's not go on a quest. Um, because that would also mean shooting out our adventures elsewhere, possibly. So instead, uh, we've got enough food. Let's go purely for housing and hopefully attract some people. Oh, we could actually afford other stuff as well. Um, who should we attract? Who should we take care of? This will just, just give us cash, which might be a good investment. That'll just give us food. Let's go for market. The little market booze. 60 quid a turn. That's not too shabby. We desperately need the cash. The marching bandit strike! Spending has decreased by 10 for 3 turns, plus 2 threat. We're not doing very well with the defence, are we? One adventurer has been struck down after a battle with a frost troll. But we've also gained a lad. Their long lost twin has arrived in town and taken up residence. So nothing happened at all then? God damn it. Anyway, adventuring bailouts needed. Stimulus? That's expensive. Or refuse bailouts. Um. Okay, let's give him some more cash. Which will mean we won't be able to do anything this turn, but it sounds like that we may have to do that. Um, our, uh, uh, ooh, our threat track is is not good. <laughs> ooh, it's a lot worse than this game than the previous one. Oh god damn it! These rats are back. I'm going to refuse it this time. Sod it. Three adventurers have fallen to the illness. Oh bloody hell! Ooh, not nice. We've got 83 quid at least. All right. Well. I think we've got enough housing at the moment. Ten housing for six. So that we've still got space. So I'm not going to make any houses. Uh, let's try to attract... Well, this seems to give us... Hmm. I'll just go for a shrine, because that's nice and cheap. We haven't got one of those yet. And that'll do for that turn. But our threat track is so high, we are really... Oh, hello! We've got three... Our quest is complete, and we've got three adventurers have returned. Excellent stuff. So that's, that increases our defense quite a lot. Sock! Socks! Sucks. If we can just pronounce the bloody thing. Right, so we've got 123 quid. We probably need the watchtower as defence. We can afford this, thankfully. So let's place that there. 12 versus 13, not too shabby. Uh, the tavern will... Oh, our brawlers are getting a bit pissy, so a tavern would be quite useful at this point. So that should hopefully de-redden them. Um, let's try and place that there. There we go. Yes, there we go. That slightly helps them out. And the performers are really happy. And we can not afford anything else, but our food level is going down. Bad. Apothecaries have been unlocked. Oh, the rats all joined together in a giant ball. At last we've achieved unity. It promptly rolled off into the unknown. Good for them, I think. But yes, we now have a new card. And also a new adventurer, Trial by Monster. Ooh, so I... Oh, yeah, here we go. The one and only thing Outriders and Diviners can agree on is some potions. Can be all you need when bleeding out. That's actually a very good little place. Oh, I like that card. That card's good. And also, we've finally got our defence higher than the threat level, so that bar is going to go to the right, finally. Right, we've got 104 quid. Our spending is good. So let's see, what can we make? Uh, we do need some food, so hopefully that'll turn up at some point. Another library. We can't afford it by one quid. A blacksmith. Again, this will be handy, because the red and the green are a bit looking a bit red in the top left. So let's do you. Place you there. Oh, we've got the apothecary already. This will help um, everyone. Everyone everyone good, anyway. This, this is a four-spacer, so we have to squeeze this in somewhere. Let's do it there. It's all wonky in that. Right, let's hope the threat level doesn't... Oh, shit. The threat level has increased by five. A monstrous eye has been found living at the bottom of our local well. Ooh. A travelling merchant comes to town. Chest of hoarding, magic mushrooms, nothing today, thanks. Um... Honestly, I don't really want to spend all our cash at the moment. We are on our uppers. Uh, our threat level is getting bad, and we do need food. What about our housing? 10 for 13, so we've got a bit of space. There's just enough space, but that's a low adventurer spawn chance. So I think we should try and get some more housing then to try and do something about that. Also an inn. Let's really get our housing on. There we go. And also a tavern. What's the difference between an inn and a tavern? <laughs> hmm. I think in fantasy we use that interchangeably, but I think an inn probably is more about people staying there and then drinking in the tavern. Hmm. Anyway, next turn, 
That threat level is getting horrible. Uh, thankfully it hasn't increased. A rat and a stick. Fable beast. We haven't actually done any quests recently, have we? Oh, we've actually got to choose. Okay. Not going to do anything there. Right, 153 quid. Again, cash? No, watchtower. Let's really, let's say, plough on the defence. There we go. No more spending. Let's get the markets, because you have to make money to get it. And all that. Replace this. There we go. Squeeze that in. And housing can't afford. So we're starting to... Oh, God. Threat levels just went up a little bit. Doomday forecast. Travelling merchant. The cute loot. Well, let's go for that. Performer satisfaction has increased by four. Well, see what you mean. You've really given us a nice green glow. Well, hopefully they'll move in. Let's see. The housing has gone green, so we've got shit tons of housing. There is room to spare, medium adventurer spawn chance. So having lots of housing is proving to be useful right about now. We make it 125 quid per turn, but our defence is still not good enough. Um, maybe another tavern. We can't afford it. And maybe a blacksmith. Um, well, this will help our red and our greens. I mean, who are a bit neutral at the moment, so I see no reason why not. And a farm! Oh, we can't afford it. We desperately need farms. Otherwise our food situation is going to go up the spout, isn't it? Tribute to the time being, plus four threat. And that's it. That's just a bad turn all around. I'm going to do nothing. Try and get some food. Nothing happens at all. Excellent. Farm. Finally, we've got a farm. Place that. Come on, get placed. Can't fight. It's, it's getting sticky. It won't. There we go. Kept on stopping with the, the rotation. Ah, he's still doing it again. Game. Right. <laughs> Shouting at the game. Right. Um, so our threat level is something that we need to take care of. But let's, again, let's um, really push our housing. Um, food is still going to be a thing. Watch oh, another watchtower. 134 quid, though. These are getting very expensive. Can we place it on top of rocks? No, we can't. Okay, hang on. Let's play... Deselect. 18 quid to get rid of that. Just trying to make as good space as, use of space as possible here. There we go. The Arcanists are happy. Or not happy. One of the two. Um, and our threat level is starting to balance out a bit better. And... We can't afford anything else. Ooh, a successful heist. Outrider request completed. Three tokens awarded for some reason. Um, hmm. Traveling merchant, nothing today. Got plenty of cash. Uh, we're, not, we're not doing too badly, but we are very much on our defense, defensive uppers or whatever the hell. So we're okay. We don't, don't necessarily need to spend too much. I kind of need a house more than anything. Uh, no one's in the red. It's just the food that's a problem. Um, therefore, I'm going to do nothing but look at the quests. Defeat the escaped princess. The princess's army of woodland creatures must be stopped. Um, this will take three turns but if, we cost, if we spend 85 quid. We can spend more, or we can spend less. Oh, no, we can do it. We can, if we spend 127 quid, it'll only take two turns. 13 adventurers. Um, the threat level is too, is really horrible. In fact, I'm just not going to do it. The threat level is too stupid at the moment. But it'll... And also, it'll clear space miles away from our town, and who cares? <laughs> Slowly make our way back to town. Uh, okay, so let's see. Do we need anything here? No, let's just move on to the next turn. We are getting very... Oh my god, the threat level is absolutely flying up. Um, what's good here? Rat and a stick. That has helped with food. Food has increased by 20. Yes. Okay, that was probably necessary. And we've got a watchtower and all... Which is very expensive, but we have been saving up our cash, so we can place one there. But we still need stuff. Food-wise, 30 for 21. That plus 20 from the forest cheese the town is getting by, no modifiers. Hmm. You see what I mean? It's very hard to actually keep up with the threat level. Very hard. We need more We need more places to stay, I guess, so... But, oh, we haven't got any money. So I guess housing, we need to attract more adventurers. But... Two adventurers have joined the fight, and also we've got a the long lost twin again, plus three threat. Okay, not too bad, but not too good either. We're still on a minus four deficit. Housing, of course, housing. Apothe another ap apothecary that costs three hundred and nine quid these days. Um, the uh, the brawl is getting a little shabby, so maybe a blacksmith would be handy at this point. Yeah, but got a green round, you know. 
Next turn, build the six blacksmiths, four of six. Um, plus six, bloody hell, look, at it's got a, we've got a, oh dear. The threat is ten more than our defence. This is terrible, we're about to get absolutely caned. We're, we're very close to death here. Spending has increased as well. Hmm. Can we just get a, clip, um, a knob of slope detection? Brawler satisfaction has increased by four. Holy shit, they're green. Uh, okay, well, we are kind of doomed at this point. Alas, alas! In. At least we can have a pub, which isn't actually a pub. We haven't really got any space to put this bugger. Can we place this? It's going to be a bit fiddly sometimes. Feels like there's a space here, but I can't quite... There we go! Found it. Found the one way of actually doing that. So, yeah, we are absolutely dead here. Ooh. Adventure Guilds pulls support from town. Yeah, I think we might be buggered. Game over. And we are destroyed, and everything dies. So it's quite tough, but I think it's just a case of finding the exact right strategy. But I was behind from pretty much the very start, though. In previous games, I've done a bit better than that. But uh, inevitably for the video, I completely crashed and burned! But interesting it's one of those games where it's very interesting and just finding out exactly how to do it over the course of many runs rather than just like it being obvious from the start so i will be putting in some more time with this off camera because it's quite fun uh thanks for watching do subscribe to undermine user to be notified when new stuff goes live about all the latest and best new indie games out there check me out on buy me a coffee if you want to say thank you for the videos and give me a bit of a tip and all that uh, bye for now